What is up everybody, welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to find the volume of a pyramid. Let's go. Okay, so to find the volume of a pyramid, we're gonna use the same formula as any prism, but we're gonna put this one third in front of it. So the volume of any prism equals the area of the base, shown by this capital B, times the height. And specifically for a pyramid, we're gonna put one third in front of it. So the volume equals one third of the area of the base times the height. Let's just briefly see why that is, why we add this third. Well, it's because if we were to build a box around this pyramid using the same length base and the same height, we would notice that this pyramid takes up exactly one third of the space inside it. So if we essentially find the area of this prism, this rectangular prism, and then find one third, we will then find the area of the pyramid. So let's begin with this example, and we can see that we have a base of eight centimeters and seven centimeters, and a height of 12 centimeters. So let's start by writing our formula, one third times base times height. Now let's input any information we know. We have one third and the base, so let's work out the area of our base first of all over here. Area of base. Then the formula for that would be length times width. So therefore we have 8 times 7. And 8 times 7 is 56. So the area of our base is 56 centimeter squares. So now I have 1 third times 56 times the height, which is 12. Now because we're multiplying all of these together and multiplication is commutative, it doesn't matter which way around we do it, we can simply look for the easiest one. I know that one third times 12 is four. So I can start by putting that part. So I have four multiplied by 56 and four multiplied by 56 is 224. But this time I have centimeter cubes because I'm now measuring the 3D space. So our final answer is 224 centimeter cubed. Now some of you observant ones will have noticed this second formula just over here. Well this is actually exactly the same thing but some people find it easier to understand. So let's see how we can work it out using that variation of the formula. So I have volume equals base times height divided by 3. And remember the capital B is the area of the base. That's a very common mistake. So again, volume equals area of the base, which we said was 56. Height was 12 divided by three. So therefore volume equals 672, which is the product of 56 and 12, divided by three, therefore equals 224 centimeter cubed. So we get exactly the same answer, just a slightly different way of looking at it. And this works because essentially when you multiply a fraction, we are essentially dividing as well. Okay, your turn. Work out the volume of this pyramid. Press pause on the video now, take your time and put your answer in the comment section. Good luck. And there you have it. That is how to find out the volume of a pyramid. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, think about sharing it with a buddy who you think might benefit from this video as well. But for now guys, thank you very much for watching. See you in another video. Peace out.